Well, the National Weather Service has issued their winter weather outlook for the upcoming winter, and I want to go through what it's based on and how they're drawing their conclusions. First of all, an El Nino is developing. That's when trade winds kind of relax, warm waters gather in the tropical Pacific. This is called an El Nino, and when this happens, it affects the atmospheric circulations around the planet, quite frankly, and its most pronounced effects here locally in the United States occur in the winter season. So the Weather Service's winter weather outlook is really based on a strong El Nino that is currently developing. So here's what happens in a typical strong El Nino. The warm waters gather here in the tropical Pacific that enhances the southern branch of the jet stream and allows for wet conditions from the southwest all the way through the south and up the east coast. Warmer than normal conditions can be expected across western Canada, the Pacific Northwest into the northern plains, and often a drier weather pattern for the Ohio Valley, which technically includes the eastern Great Lakes region, which does include western New York. So this is a look at the National Weather Service's precipitation outlook, which is certainly you know, really being uh, focused with the strong El Nino in mind. Notice above normal precipitation from central California into parts of Southern California, Texas, and certainly the Gulf Coast. This is because there's a strong jet stream here bringing multiple weather systems through and then bigger, better chances of nor'easters to develop, bringing rain and possibly snow to the East Coast. Drier than normal conditions for the uh, Northern Rockies and Northern Plains, and also a drier area for, I would say, the Great Lakes, which includes, of course, uh, parts of Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, uh, Ohio, and Western New York. The thinking being, with a warmer weather pattern, maybe less lake effect snow. And I think that's the weather service is thinking here in terms of the temperature outlook much above normal temperatures for the Pacific Northwest Alaska too, and it extends across the northern tier of states. OK, coming up in uh, early parts of our new month of November, Channel 2 Storm Team 2 is going to issue our uh, winter weather outlook, which will be far more focused not only across western New York, but our four zones that we'd like to discuss, the frontier, Buffalo Metro, the South Towns, and of course, the Southern Tier. And with that forecast, you will see something that has a general look, but also a very focused look across western New York. Stay tuned for that.